Today I'll be walking you guys through how to implement Smooth Scroll on your website using React.js. Smooth Scroll is a feature that makes website looks cool, interactive, and easy to navigate. Let me show you guys a quick demo. Sport takes me to the sport section, about, about section, testimonial, testimonial section, contact, contact section. And we're good to go. So in order for us to achieve this goal, we will have to import React packages like import hash link as link or import link from React scroll or import nav hash link as link. Before I dive into the technical aspect, let me briefly explain the idea of using the link and the nav hash link package from React. So we import link if and only if we are referencing our ID as so. And we import the nav hash link if and only if we are referencing our ID as so. This two mission works perfectly fine with smooth scroll. In HTML, we are able to use smooth scroll by referencing our ID as so. And I am sure some of you would prefer to continue to use the same hash sign or the pound sign with your ID name, and that's still fine. As long as you import the nav hash link, you're good to go. So please don't get it confused by importing the nav hash link and referencing your ID as so. Obviously, it's not gonna work. Just make sure you're importing the right package. And that's pretty much it. So this is my project and I'm gonna get into my terminal and the shortcut to get into my terminal is the control and then the back tick, which will open my terminal. And before I actually use the smooth scroll, um, I had to install it. So I went online, which is right here. Let me see, what is it? Um, Yeah, I went online, just type in smooth scroll react. So you will have to install this. Once you're done installing it, you can either, you know, test it. It's up to you. Or if you don't want to test it, you can just, you know, go ahead and then import the right packages, as you can see from here. And then what? You just start your terminal. So I have already done all that, you know, Installing, I've already installed the necessary package, right? So I don't need to install it all over again. So, like I said before, in order for you to the, in order for you to use the smooth scroll, just you know, come here, type in this in the command line in your terminal, install it, import this, right? You don't have to import. Okay, let me copy this, copy this, and then paste it. So we will not be using this. All we're using is the what? Is the link. And that's pretty much it, right? So since we're using just the link, we'll have to reference our ID as so. So make sure you are make sure you're importing it in the nav bar section or the nav bar file, right? Okay. So here I have my in my nav bar in my nav bar file I have my home, I do have sport, I do have about, testimonials, so on and so forth, right? And each of them I do have a unique ID for all of them, right? And my ID here is what? Live. Here it's about us, right? And that's pretty much it. So, like I said before, in order for us to uh, use the smooth scroll, we'll have to install it and once you install it please just go ahead and then read pretty much you know everything here just so you understand what you're doing because um it's self-explanatory link to which is pretty much linking to the id you know um going down going down like i said before once you install it you start the terminal and then you're good to go.
right? So I'm going to start my terminal. Right now, I have my link. I'm, I'm importing my link, my link, which uh, <laughs> I'm importing my link, which is already, um, you know, working. I'm going to focus this video more on the nav hash link. So please stay with me. So in order for us to use the nav hash link, I will have to comment this out. And then I'm coming to this. To uncomment, control shift and K will do the job for you. Right? Okay. And like I said, in order for us to use the what? The nav hash link will have to reference our ID as so. Using the pound sign or the hash symbol. If not, it's not going to work. Okay, all right. Let me save. I'll save it, right? I'll save it and just go on the terminal and see. See, there's going to be an error. What is it? It's not going to work. Click on it. It's not going to work. See that? It's not going to work. It's not going to work. It's not going to work. Because the nav hash link only works when there is a pound sign next to the ID, your ID name. Okay, now let's get back. So in order for me to be able to have this working, I will have to use a pound symbol for all my ID name. And then we're good to go. That's it. All right. Um, sports, about, testimonial, contact. And guys, hey, that's pretty much it. And you know, um, this is a project that I'm still working on. I'm pretty much done with it. Just leave a comment if you would prefer me to upload the entire project. As always,